So welcome to um, part one of Random Acts of Birding, which is basically me going out without a plan, without an agenda, and just taking pictures and video of any birds or wildlife that I should happen to see. And we kick off at Otter Lake, which is part of St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge. And I came across this uh, Backman Sparrow that was singing right by the road and managed to get some okay pictures in really terrible light. It was uh, after sunset. At one point, it flew uh, really close to me and landed and was half-heartedly singing about five or six feet away. The very next day, I headed down to uh, Shell Point, which is a, a place I featured in a previous video. I go down there a lot, and I was really excited to see that there was a common loon feeding really close to the shore as I was setting up my camera, and then it started to um, bathe and preen instead of diving under the water. So I managed to get quite a long sequence of, of video and then started playing around and, and taking some images and i really like this one of um of it shaking uh, the water off after it finished bathing first winter american herring gull wasn't as impressed as i was and as always there were a bunch of shorebirds on the beach and i messed around and took a few images um, low to the ground trying to get some artsy shots with the waves in the background I wasn't really able to get out very much after that. The work's just been really busy lately, but it was my kid's birthday. And so I took him down to uh, Wakulla Springs and we got early bird boat tour, um, which is always a lot of fun. And they offer those boat tours on the first Saturday of each month. And it goes out at eight o'clock. So there's always a lot to see that early in the morning. As the temperatures warm up, the alligators are starting to really come out now. And uh, back at the, the beach, at the swimming area, uh, the black vultures were, were bathing and, and drinking. And uh, an alligator actually came swimming over and was sitting there watching them. And I was kind of hoping it would make a grab for one of the vultures, but it was just curious, I guess, or not hungry. On the way out of the park, uh, we stopped to take some pictures of the, the dogwood blooms that are um, just lighting up the whole of North Florida right now. It's a, a really pretty. Starting to really heat up, it was in the mid 70s, so we decided to go for a drive around the National Forest and see if we could find any snakes or turtles. And it wasn't long before we came across this box turtle. I'm really happy with uh, this image. Uh, Marsh picked up the box turtle to move it off the road and noticed it had two deep holes in the top of its carapace. And we think that it may have been grabbed by an alligator at some point. And then we headed down to Bradwell Bay Wilderness Area. Uh, there's a small um, culvert down there that's flooded, usually flooded. And there's been a small alligator hanging out in there for a while now, and he was there again. After that, we went for some lunch and then headed to a, a small park in Tallahassee. And there wasn't very much, but I did get some nice um, video and a picture of a Northern Cardinal. I really wanted to uh, see if there were any limpkins uh, at Centerpoint Lake. So we drove over there and there were a couple and it looks like they're, they're nesting. Limpkins will uh, perch in, in trees and this one was about 50, 60 feet off the ground. And then my final soiree to take um, pictures and videos over this two week period was actually here at home and I spent a few hours in the backyard take, taking pictures of some of the birds coming to the feeders and 
I was excited to see a, a, a hermit thrush, which at first was kind of skulking in the beautyberry bush, but eventually it came out and perched on the fence and I managed to get this picture. Well, that's it uh, for this uh, first random act of birding vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll catch you again next time. Uh, thanks for watching.